guys what's going on my name is Louis today is October 4 2024 and God bless to every single one of you guys make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell we have an urgent breaking news coming out it says here earthquake swarm at Washington State high threat volcano sense researchers scrambling for answers a few months ago these experts are sounding the alarm saying we could see a 9.0 magnitude earthquake at any moment. And we have seen some signs here, guys. Now, you know that uh, the West Coast is overdue. Cascadia subduction zone is shaking. The Southern California, they're seeing a lot of earthquake. So we are definitely witnessing Bible prophecy, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. We are witnessing famines and pestilence because war leads to shortages and also leads to disease. We are seeing that too. California, I think, just announced the F1N, I think F1N1, the bird flu, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, we are definitely seeing something here, famines, pestilence, and earthquakes going on in various places. Guys, before I start, let's go with the verse of the day, Romans chapter 10, verse 4. Please share the video. Christ is the end of the law, so that there may be righteousness for everyone who believes. We follow the gospel. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Now, we do follow the Ten Commandments. We do follow a lot of things that is written in the Old Testament. But for God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. And Jesus is the life. No one gets to the Father except through Jesus. So the gospel, the cross, is the way. Thoughts on today's verse. Christ is the fulfillment of the law. Amen. Amen. The goal and destination of the Mosaic law. Now, and says here, in the end of law as the means by which we are declared righteous, we are no longer judged on the basis of our law keeping. True. The standard used for us is the righteousness of God. But this is a standard that Jesus meets in us and for us by being the sin, offering for us and sending the Spirit to empower us to be transformed. Now, once again, Jesus' saving work and our faith in him means that God can declare us righteous while still transforming us as we strive to be more righteous in how we live. The law's goal is to fulfill and find its completion in Jesus as his, his saving work redeems us and the Holy Spirit transforms us to be like our Lord. So there is a video here, guys, and um, I'm going to share the link in my description box if you guys want to watch the video. Let's go with the, uh, with the prayer. Dear Father, I do believe that Jesus is your dear son, sent to be my savior, crucified for my sins, and raised from the dead for my victory. I trust my salvation to him, and thank you for your incredible gift of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, amen. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right. <clears throat> now, remember, the laws were not meant to save. Jesus is written throughout the entire Old Testament. The Old Testament is... It's a foreshadowing of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Jesus comes and bring the good news. John the Baptist, he opens the door. This is the one, this is the light. He brings to you the gift, salvation. Amazing power, amazing words. Get involved in the scriptures. Now Jesus mentioned that in the last days, there will be many things to come. There will be earthquake, there will be war, there will be famines, there will be pestilence mines, there will be, uh, you know, God is going to give up many people to reprobate mine, debase mine. There's going to be so many things. Basically, in the last days, is going to be uh, not good. But that's the reason why the light came. Those who want to find peace and salvation, follow me. The world is doing their part. Satan is deceiving many. So get involved in scriptures. Scientists have recorded a significant uptick in earthquakes at the Mount Adam volcano, the largest active volcano in Washington state. Six earthquake hit the high threat volcano in September, according to the United States Geological Survey, which is a drastic increase from the normal rate of one earthquake at the volcano every two to three years. This is the largest number of earthquakes recorded at Mount Adams in a single month since records uh, began in 1982. The earthquake ranged from magnitude 0.9 to 2 and were recorded via a single seismic station, seven miles, 11 kilometers southwest of Mount Adams summit. None of the ground shakes were felt at the surface. It's amazing that I mentioned that uh, the Old Testament is a foreshadowing Jesus Christ. Now, when I saw that name, Mount Adams, Adam, you guys know the first man, his name was Adam. Jesus Christ is the new Adam. I just wanted to bring that up. I, again, I'm not saying that has something to do with the volcano. It's just that name just bought some more amazing uh, scriptures to learn. According to experts, these earthquakes do not mean an eruption is imminent. Okay. Once again, this is very important. According to experts, meteorologists or USGS, these earthquakes do not mean an eruption is imminent. Currently, there is no indication that the level of earthquake activity is cause for concern. United States Geological Survey representative wrote in a statement, efforts are underway to better understand what's happening beneath the volcano. Well, there's a possibility magma might be building up and possibly in the near future, a imminent eruption. Scientists with the Cascades Volcano Observatory and Pacific Northwest Seismic Network will install a set of temporary seismic stations in the area to get a better understanding of the size, location, and depth of the seismic activity, according to the statement. Mount Adams towers more than 12,000 feet that's 3,660 meters above Earth's surface and stretch 18 miles, 29 kilometers, across making it one of the largest peaks in the Cascades mountain range. It sits around 70 miles, 110 kilometers, northwest of Portland. The volcano formed around 520,000 years ago. The largest cone grew during three eruptive episodes 500,000, 400,000, and 50,000 to 30,000 years ago. And it's surrounded by several smaller vents. And the last, excuse me, it last erupted at some point between 3,800 to 7,600 years ago, according to USGS. Now, these numbers, these earthquake, I mean, these, uh, the year, the the age of planet Earth or mountains, these are man numbers, all right? Scientists is the one that put out these numbers. But according to scriptures, scriptures, again, it's, we only been around for like 6,000, uh, close to 7,000 years, I guess. 
but the planet is not 500,000 years old. If you read scripture, scripture has a calendar. You just have to do your research. Um, was a dinosaur wiped out 66 million years ago? <laughs> no one in scripture doesn't mention that. And uh, look, the dinosaur bones. Scientists found protein in the dinosaur bones. That's amazing, right? But uh, if an asteroid took out dinosaur and it was 66 million years ago, those bones would not be here. And those protein would definitely not be in those bones. Now, a flood does make a lot more sense because when the flood came, the time of Noah, the water has rise, risen, and it took months for the water to, to recede, to come down. And when the water was going down, it was also taking the beast down to the earth. It was buried. Now that makes a lot of sense. It does. Because the flood happened like around 5,000, like four or 5,000 years ago. So yeah, it does make a lot of sense. There is still protein in those bones because it hasn't been millions of years old yet. It hasn't vaporized. Now, an asteroid would uh, literally vaporize bones and everything, just completely take everything, just wash everything away. It's like Pompeii Volcano in Rome. When that thing erupted, I mean, people that were standing right in front of it, what happened to them? What happened to them? They turned to stone. Everything, all the fluid, the, the water, the blood was completely dried up. Just completely dried up. Stone. You're not going to find nothing in that, in that corpse. No protein, nothing. Just completely stone. Stone, that's it. Pompeii Volcano, they're still finding more of a people, B-O-D-I-E-S. Stone. So an asteroid, if an asteroid hit the planet and took out the dinosaur, you best believe those dinosaurs, number one, either stone or just vaporized, but being buried? Not going to fool me with that story. All right, so it says here, it last erupted at some point between 3,800 and 7,600 years ago, according to the USGS. Generally, the volcano has produced effusive eruption which involves slow moving lava flows rather than more destructive explosive eruption. All right, so USGS experts are saying nothing's going, again, this is not a great concern, but they still wanna go there because it's something that's very important and something that hasn't been seen in a long time. So sometime I believe they, you know, they wanna keep the story under, you know, not to paranoid men, many. I believe the mountains will be moved from its place. I believe there's going to be great earthquakes. I follow what scripture says. Um, so yeah, this is where we at. This is where we at right now. Now going back to the dinosaur really quick. Asteroid took out the dinosaur. The fire completely covered the planet. You know, the Bible says that in the beginning there will be a flood. In the last days there will be fire. And then once fire comes, it will be the end. That's it. Everything will be completely gone. The heavens, elements, the universe, everything will be gone with a big bang. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. At the very end, once everything is fulfilled, God is, God is going to say, it is done. It is finished. I am the first, the last, the alpha, the omega, the beginning, and the end. And then the books will open up. And there will be two destination the kingdom of heaven and hell the separation of good and evil so again this is where we are right now guys please read your scriptures king james version uh bible or the new king james version bible uh get involved in scripture stay in prayer we are definitely seeing a lot of shaking going on in these last days i do believe so but again at the very same time our job is to spread the gospel and let the gospel uh, again let the gospel do its work 
when you read uh, again the gospel the scriptures to people God will do the rest but it's not our job to step in and say hey you are not gonna go to heaven you're gonna go to hell and then let read the scripture read the gospel sit down with your friends and families and read them Bible verses teach them and uh, at the very end well after that God is going to you know do his part so this is where we are right now guys great great earthquake swarm at Washington State high threat volcano sends researchers scrambling for answer thank you so much for watching please share the video for those of you that want to give a like to Christ you can email me my email is in the description box me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path and that's the path of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me Louis Santiago or my wife Jessica Santiago at 3432 US Highway 19 number 2 Holiday Florida 34691 once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Monday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For it's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.